Hey, hey. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. How do I look? Hey, I am safely back in Melbourne, Florida with my entourage. I just don't know where they are. But they're here. Somewhere. And I am glad to be back with you. I had a wonderful trip to Moody, Alabama over the weekend. We did two services. We did one on Sunday morning. And we did a blessing service on Sunday morning. And Sunday night we did a healing service. And it was wonderful. And that is a great World Victory Church up there. And I'm telling you what, it is a fabulous church. They have a wonderful pastor, a pastor with faith. I'm telling you what now, that is a wonderful pastor and a wonderful church. So if you're anywhere close to Moody, Alabama, please check out this church. Great church family and very loving people. It is it was absolutely wonderful. It was like, to describe it, it was like being in my own church with different faces. Just the same warmth and love and, and friendly atmosphere and everything as we have in our church. And it was just, it was just, it was great to be there. And uh, I was just, oh my God, I was just so, you know, I went there to be a blessing. But let me tell you who got blessed. It was me. And I was blessed by those people. And you will be too if you go there. Hey, I want to talk to you today, but before we do, let's make a good confession. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The rest of my life is the best of my life. Tomorrow will be better than today. I have favor with God and favor with people. Say that every single day. I have favor with God and favor with people. Because believe me, when God's favor starts working in your life, I'm telling you, everything changes. And so does the blessing. Hey, I want to talk to you today about something very, very serious. And that is how to cure depression. Depression is awful. It's like, it's like when, when people are in what, <clears throat> what I call a dark place. I'm here for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. If anybody needs prayer today, please call me. I'm always here for you. And I love to pray with people. I spent most of the day yesterday traveling back to uh, Melbourne, Florida. And a lot of it I spent listening to praise music. But a lot of it I spent on the phone with our prayer partners. And I'm always here. I answer the phone when you call. Amen. How unusual is that? To actually call a ministry and get the minister on the phone. But I believe if you're supporting a ministry, you should be able to get a hold of the minister. Amen. So I spent a lot of time praying with people yesterday. And that's, and that's always wonderful because that's what I do. I do that all day long. And I do it up till midnight every night. So if, if you need me to pray with you, please call me today. But I want to talk to you right now about how to cure depression. I want you to, the first thing I want you to understand about depression, and this will be a big help to you. Depression, listen to me. Depression is always temporary. It's always temporary. It's, and so many people will do terrible things because they don't realize depression is temporary. That depression is temporary. I was on the phone one time with a police officer in a throes of depression with a gun pointed to his head. And he was sitting there talking to me and he told me, he says, I've got a gun in my hand and I'm going to end it all. His wife had left him and he was just beside himself. And I could not talk him out of it. Could not talk him out of it. So I said to him, I said, okay. I said, I've told you that this is, this is temporary. I'm going to prove it to you. You can do what you want to do. 
But you got to give me six months. You give me six months. You wait for six months. What's the difference? It ain't going to hurt nothing to wait for six months. You got a good job. You're a deputy sheriff. You can, you can pay your bills. I know you don't feel good, but it's temporary. You give me six months. And if, if at the end of six months, if, if it's nothing has changed, go ahead and do it and I'll do your funeral for you. And he said, okay. Three months later, <laughs> this guy's engaged to another girl, a beautiful girl. And as far as I know, he's happily married and everything is wonderful. Glory to God. See, I knew if I could just hold, get him to hold off for a little while, he would be fine. Because I know Jimmy's smart, smart boy, really smart. And I'm getting smarter every day. But I knew his situation was temporary. I knew, and, and see, what he had going on was the same thing that almost everybody has going on when they have this, the, the, uh, the depression, and that is a spirit of fear. Depression always comes from a spirit of fear. Now look at this, back here in Timothy, it says in verse 7, chapter 1, 2 Timothy, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Sound mind. Not a depressed mind, a sound mind. But that spirit of fear comes in. And depression comes from a fear that your situation is not going to change. And it does. Situations always change. They always change. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything that would cause suffering to your family. Don't sit in a house depressed. If you're feeling depressed today, the first thing you do is go open all the shades. Let the light in. Years ago, I used to work with this lady. And every once in a while, she wouldn't show up for a while. Well, if she didn't show up for two or three days, I would go to her house. And I'd stand there and bang on the door and say, let me in or I'll break the door down. And finally, she would open the door and she'd be wearing her, her nightgown and, and she would hold her eyes and she'd go back and sit down on the couch and, and everything. And the first thing I did was go around and open all the blinds. And she'd go, oh, all that light. Tell you what, light. Depression doesn't like light because depression is dark. It's a dark place. And it does not like light. Open the blinds. And then call me. And I will deal with the spirit of fear for you. Once I get rid of that spirit of fear, which I can do. You can do it too if you have enough faith. But if you don't call me, I'll help you with this. I'll get rid of that spirit of fear. I'm telling you what, that depression will go away. Your whole life will change in a matter of minutes. I guarantee you in less than an hour, your whole life is different. Works every single time. How hard is that? You just have to know how to do it. Huh? It works every single time. We cure depression. You don't have to live there. You don't have to live in this dark place. People like Robin Williams. Bless his heart. Wonderful comedian. Great actor. Brought joy into the lives of so many people took his own life when he was in that dark place because he did not know that it was temporary. There's a fear there that nothing is going to work out. There's a fear there that you're never going to be able to change your bills. There's a fear there that this illness is going to take your life and you're going to be so sick. And believe me, that's all a lie. I can not only get rid of the depression, I can get rid of any sickness or disease too. Amen? And I can help your finances by bringing the, the blessing into your life. I mean, you don't have to stay this way. If you don't like where you are, you call me and I'll help you. Amen? We'll get you out of that. You don't have to live there. And that's what's causing your depression. Please. 
Don't ever do anything stupid. Don't, because I'm telling you what, families suffer so much when somebody does something like that. A very well-known minister known all over the world, his son took his own life. And I'm telling you what, that family never got over it. They never got over it. Even though he, he went about ministering and still helping people for years and years, they never got over it. It's something people never get over. Don't do that to your family. Don't do that to your friends, your loved ones, your children. Oh my goodness. There was just a well-known minister who took his own life just a couple weeks ago. He had two or three, I think three little boys. How awful is that? And he did not realize that his situation was temporary. You share this video with everybody you know, please. I want this video all over the country that people can get help. They don't have to live in this dark place. They can call me. I'll get them out of this. Very quickly, within an hour, their whole life will change if they call me. You tell, you share this with people, even if they're not depressed, because they may know somebody. And tell them to share it. And tell them to share it. Because I'm telling you what, it will, it will absolutely, I guarantee you'll save somebody's life by sharing this video. Please do that today, okay? God bless you. Help us send this message around the world, okay? Uh, when you make offerings and tithe to this ministry, you call me because I want to speak a blessing over your tithe and over your offering at the same time. We got a new book coming out. I'm, I am really pushing on this to get it to the publisher so I have it for uh, December. And we're working on it, and it should be ready. So look forward to this, and it's a wonderful book. I'm telling you what, make a great Christmas present. Hey, go out there today, make it a great day. Remember this, the rest of your life is the best of your life, and God's Word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. I love you all. Please don't live with depression. Please share this video with everybody you know, and I guarantee somebody's life will be saved today through the power in the name of Jesus.